relief for Savi Praja in the 2008 Malegaon blast case. The Bombay High Court has granted bail to Savi Praja, who was the prime accused in the Malegaon bomb blast case. Now, now, meanwhile, an NGO called Jamid will challenge the High Court in Supreme Court for cancel, to cancel rather the bail of Savi Praja, victims of Malegaon last case will challenge the bail given to Safi Prakia seeing in the Supreme Court. Also, the High Court order rejected the bail plea of Colonel Prasad Shrikant Purohit, who was also an accused in the case. Now, the court has given Prakia bail on a personal bond of five lakh rupees. Prakia had, had argued that the National Investigation Agency had not found any evidence against her and that prosecution against her be dropped. And our chief correspondent, uh, Katik here, alive in New Delhi. Good afternoon, Katik here. Now, uh, uh, Jamaat has uh, uh, said that he, they will take this matter to the Supreme Court. What are the latest are you getting in from your sources? You see, there are a couple of things which have happened. You know, one has to understand that the Malegaon blast, which has taken place, had a number of accused. Now, Colonel Purohit has not been granted bail because of the uh, issue of uh, the plea, which uh, the, uh, the you know the prosecution uh, defence uh, wanted that you know he did not pilfer RDX. But then, in the case of uh, Sadhvi Pragya Singh Thakur, uh, the 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 the, the uh, evidence given by the uh, you know the defence uh, was found to be far more. Uh, uh, admissible in terms of uh, uh, contradictions which were there in the uh, prosecution case that the motorcycle belonged to Sadhvi Pragya Singh Thakur and on that reason you know there's a, a circumstantial evidence and, and, and you know the trial should continue on that she has been given bail so Sadhvi Pragya Singh Thakur's case has taken a different tangent but when it comes to Colonel Purohit it is a different thing altogether because it is also related with Abhinav Bharat and Abhinav Bharat case is not only limited to one Malegao Abhinav Bharat case also uh, transcends and get connected to a uh, couple of other alleged blasts which have taken place which include Samjata. Now coming back to the point, you know the story of this case is not about the act of terror. The story of this case is about whether the mainstream religion which is Hinduism in this country did have a fringe element like, uh, or not. Because during the time of UPA the whole debate became the Hindu terror or the saffron terror. So you know the terror became equated and BJP felt that the UPA has gone after these cases to actually persecute RSS and knock them down politically politically that the BJP ultimately was ideologically catering to organizations which indulge in terror activities. So this is the, this is the bind, this is the play, for, in the, you know, this is the context in which we have to see the case. So it is not about pra Sadhvi Pragya Singh Thakur's bail, it is not about Colonel Purohit's bail, it is about the larger matrix of the word in courts which Hindu terror was used during UPA the way BJP got attacked, the way UPA used it, and the way political discourse got fashioned on it, Inga. All right, thank you so much, Katke. If you could please uh, stay with us on the line. We're also joined by Sanjana live in Mumbai. Sanjana, good afternoon. What is the latest update? Uh, Inga, as we have understood, the Bombay High Court uh, pronounced this judgment in the appeal file both uh, Maligam accused Pragya Singh Thakur and uh, Lekhan Kursi Prasad to it. But a just plea is that she has been rightly saying uh, for bail has been allowed a five lakh surety. Prasad Purohit's appeal against the Central NIA court has been rejected. There was a bench of two justices. One is Ranjit More and Sharni uh, Pansalkar Joshi uh, has reserved this order in separately after hearing lawyers for both parties. Uh, however, senior advocate Avinash Gupta appeared for Pradya Shrikant should be appeared for Lieutenant Colonel Purohit. Now, both the accused have sought bail ever since the NIA dropped all charges against them under the stringent uh, Makoka or the um, the Maharashtra Control of Organized Crime Act of the investigation uh, six years from the Maharashtra ATS. Uh, the NI, however, maintained charges against Rohit uh, as of today under relevant sections of uh, the CRPC uh, and ICC Unlawful Prevention Act, uh, Explosive Substances Act, and the Arms Act in its charge sheet. Uh, however, it did in fact uh, oppose the rejection of the bail. And the NI court, which is Sadia's lawyer, asked that the court did not take into account the change in the circumstances after the NI filed its charge sheet. So, this is uh, 
this is where we're actually standing right now. Where uh, but let's not also, as Karthik is very rightly been pointing out, let's not actually confuse the cases here because what we what we're hearing right now in the Bombay High Court is only for a bail application that was filed uh, by both sides. It is not. Uh, it is not the, the case that the NIA, that a special court of the NIA is hearing. It has nothing to do with that. This is just a challenge. Up. All right, all right. Thank you so much, Sanjana, there for us as, you, as she gave us details on the court ruling.